Alright, so we're going to show you how to do some batch image editing here in Lightroom. So I just have a session open. This was a senior shoot done at Gardner Village. And depending on what you have, you can do things a little differently. Um, let's say, for example, you have some shots and some different lighting. So here we have some in front of a door. So they're all pretty much the same. Then we switch to a bench. So those are probably all going to be similar. So what we can do is we start out by just selecting the ones that were shot in front of the door. You can hold down shift and then click on the last one and we're in the develop module and what you can do is right next to sync there's this little button you hit that and it will now say auto sync so anything you do to one picture it will now do to your entire selection so you can start doing whatever you like these are my original raw images so you know you can start out with an auto tone uh, you can change the white balance and this is affecting every image that I've selected down here um, so you know we can do a little recovery we can do get a little more blacks in there bump up the contrast and you know do whatever you'd like and just to be fast here you know you might even add a vignette and I'll show you how it'll add that on each image so you have a little vignette there so now you can just scroll through with your arrow keys and you can see each image has the vignette and it has the exact same settings as the first image and then if you need to change anything on just a single image you know you can just click on that auto sync will disappear and now if you just need to edit this image it's the only one highlighted you can change the exposure and everything like that and it'll just affect that image so then you can go to your next set and say you know all of these are on a bench all of these are in pretty much the same lighting so I'm gonna take care of all these you can start doing the same thing you can auto tone it maybe you want the blacks a little higher maybe you want a little more contrast so you can take care of it like that and you're good to go you're still on auto sync and then again you can spot check individual images by clicking on an image and then you can make adjustments to just that one image instead of the whole set and you know if your whole set is in a lighting that's similar and you think you can do the whole thing there might just be you know say you always do auto tone you could hit that I just did auto tone on every single image in the whole collection and if you want to if you have certain settings that you just need on every single image just select them all and there's your auto sync if you ever want to turn that off you can just hit sync you can hit that little button again and it won't affect every single image so as you can see all these images they now have auto tone done to them and you're good to go so just depending on if you want to affect the whole shoot or just part of the shoot and then again you can always go through and spot check individual images and make sure that the settings look good.